Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, The Connected. Um, what I have here is a very, very thick pork chop. <laughs> Bone in. Um, what I did is I took a knife and I cut a pocket in it. And what I have here in this container here is the spice just stuff. I have a video that says stuff, uh, just stuff is uh, my seasoning blend. It's onion powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. I'm going to hit the inside of this. Pork chop with it. Just about like that. I'm going to hit the outside. This side of it. I usually don't use my left hand, but doing it today. Alright. I'm going to flip it. Do the other side generously. There we go. Press that in a little bit. Lift it back over. I'm going to hit it again on this side. <laughs> okay, this little rice particles coming out of my little shaker. Nah, ain't nothing but a thing. Now what I'm going to do is I had bought a package of this uh, DJ's uh, boudin. That's what I like to use for boudin. So what I'm going to do, now I've seen a lot of people do this. I cut the boudin in, in half pieces here. Sorry for all the noise out there. Our neighbors are doing their thing. <laughs> I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to take, let me take the small one first. Got the small half. Like I said, cut it in half, but it's in a small. Very small. I'm going to poke that in there. I'm going to mash it. Mash it down like that. I got plenty of room back there for more boudin. And I'm pushing it back there with my fingertips. Okay? On the inside, not the outside. I want to push that all the way back there. Because see, it's cut all the way back to here. Alright. I'm going to break another little piece here. I'm going to slide it towards the back. You know, see, if, I'm going to shove it as far back there as I can get it. Like that. <clears throat> Smash it. So I want this thing mega stuck. <laughs> All right. Then we're gonna take what's left here, break it in a few pieces. I'm gonna shove all that in there. It's not gonna be hanging out the outside when I get done. Hopefully. All right. Get it in there. Get this pushed in there. Hoping my hands are not in the way too much. Okay. I'm gonna smash that down. So I want that boudin inside, not a, hanging all outside, be in the bottom of the pan somewhere. Okay. That's smashing in all them spices I did. So it's pretty well tucked inside there. All right, y'all. It's gonna be so good. Now I'm gonna be baking this. At I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna be baking this at. 350 degrees, probably 45 minutes, if not a little bit longer, and I will be covering it in foil, the ring, my gloves hung up on my ring, sorry y'all, I'm going to come back across the top there, a little more of that spice, can't have too much garlic and onion powder anyway, all right, There we go. What y'all keep seeing me pick out is when I make this, I uh, add uh, rice to it to keep it from clumping up and drying out. Uh, it's just a thing that I do. Anyway, I'm going to put this in that oven at 350 degrees. Like I said, I'm going to wrap it in full. And there's one more thing I'm going to do to it. Even though I am baking it, I'm going to add a little moisture to it. Alright, see so I got this little four ounce container here the water in it it's going to steam it and help it keep it you know tender and make sure it's cooked completely through and through so i'm gonna wrap this in full and i'm gonna slide it in the oven and i'll bring y'all back when it's done cooking oh more than likely i'm gonna unwrap it 
drain the juices off and uh, broil a little bit. But I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. That's what it looks like 45 minutes later. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the broiler for a little bit. But on top here, that is garlic butter. I uh, put that in the freezer and froze it. You don't take it and I'm going to just get a little bit of it everywhere. I don't care. I use my hands. It's my food. I'm going to use my hands. Put that on there like that. Put it in that broiler. And I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. There it is. A done deal. Adding this gonna add a lot of flavor to it. That uh, garlic I put up there, garlic butter, the garlic, uh, parsley, onion powder, salt, pepper, all of that. See that boudin? Mmm. -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. -ha. I want y'all to see the full thing there. Y'all, that's gonna make for one heck of a dick um good lunch. I'm just going to cut into a little piece of this. It's completely done. Totally cooked. If I can just get it off that hole now. <laughs> Another pocket. It ain't supposed to be pretty, y'all. Just supposed to be edible. And at this point, there we go. The pork chop still good and juicy. Mm-mm. Juice is in it. The boudin flavor. Some of it popped out. Because you know when meat cooks it shrimp. That's fine. You get stuffed pork chop and dressing on the side. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well -hmm. mm. y'all, if y'all stuff pork chop, y'all tell me what it is y'all up y'all with. I think you plate this up and chow down on a good lunch y'all so anyway thanks for watching please like subscribe and by all means leave a comment and hey y'all y'all do something nice for somebody today this is nothing empty and I'm out